Hello viewers, welcome to the Policy Times, India's only media which talks about public policy and foreign affairs. So when we talk about public policy, the way technology transition happening across the world, it is extremely imperative that every individual, where, where, where he belongs to government, where he belongs to industry or simple civil society or academia, understanding the technology transition is extremely important. Uh, to be effective, to be with time, and to produce results. So to talk on that, we have Mr. Bobby Vishwas, who is the Chief Executive Officer at Inpro India. Inpro, Inpro India deals in the IT and uh, IT services based in Bangalore. Uh, they, so they come from Sweden. It's a, it's a company which comes from Sweden, but they have a base in Bangalore because Bangalore is the uh, Silicon Valley of India in terms of when it comes to IT. So, Mr. Vishwas, welcome to the Policy Times, uh, this episode. And uh, the first question that I want to ask you is that what is, how do you simplify the definition of technology transition which is happening across the world? And what is the level of impact of this technology transition in government uh, functioning, in industry, in, in different sectors? Thank you for having me. Just, just to mention a few words, we, we are a Swedish IT company. We have a, 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 our biggest development center is in Bangalore, but we also do have a development center in, in Kolkata, as well as sales office in Germany and US as well. Regarding the <coughs> very interesting question, regarding the, 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 the change, uh, we can just see that a person in a very small village can sit and order a latest telephone without knowing anybody. Or that before to getting a taxi, you know, it could be a luck sometime. If it is a rush hour, sometime if you look good, if you have nice clothes, you got it. But uh, if you look poor, they never come to you. But nowadays, it doesn't work in that way. It, you have your app, uh, app it goes by who ordered first, and that caps finds you, not like you have to search for that. So, so, so how it is changing, I mean, I mean, what I can feel that I feel not only in India, everywhere in the world, I don't know if government can cope up with the, the, the drastic change which is happening day by day, you know, and policy making, taking, you know, it is a process of making a change in a policy. It takes one year to do one small change in some kind of policies where you have a new uh, app launching every day where changing your world just, just you know, as I mentioned, Uber, uh, isation, not only Uber, Uberization in every everything everywhere, and uh, so 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 it is an interesting time to be as a as a as a citizen. But I think it is difficult part to be government in this case. And what I can feel will uh, come more and more that you know, on demand. We we don't need to anymore. For example, regardless if you watched Karnataka TV or not. If you live in uh, Karnataka, then you got all the channels. Now you can decide which channel you will actually subscribe, which you're looking into. So those kind of change you can see. More on-demand uh, thing. And customized, like personalized products you can offer. Yes. Right. Yes. Now, as the technology is changing that fast, I'm sure it is impacting your business, your sector too, because you are providing IT solutions. Now, when you are providing IT solution and your client is adapting the latest technology or wishes to adapt the latest technology, how is it impacting your business, your operation? Because you as an organization to adapt such, uh, such techno tectonic shift or maybe a small shift uh, in your business of adapting that new technology in your operation needs a lot of technology training to your staff, a lot of understanding of that technology, its impact on your own business. I think it must have some impact on it. How are you coping up those? How are you adapting? What kind of uh, you know, process or, or, or in initiatives or steps you take? To start with, just have the awareness 
that it is a change. Uh, very, very, very important that you, you know that there is a change and you have to change with it, it to sustain. And maybe remember Nokia mobile phones as a history, you know, like waking up call all the time, like to being first to being the, the leader, not like one of, one of the players, ah. the leader, to not being there at all, you know, within within our, I mean, I would not say lifespan, it, within 10 years, they say. Yeah. So, so you have to always be there, you have to always be ready uh, to, to, to those changes. How it is affecting me, for example, like before you are just, I, I, we work with Java.net, PHP, these kind of technologies. For example, I will give you uh, like my, my pain points. So before, if you are a Java developer, then you always was a Java developer. But what I have seen, what we have noticed, like now the technology, it goes faster, right? So, so things have to go faster. Java is good. But then it comes React.js, for example, where client is just can see Java is good that you have, but we need people who know React.js. So how we are dealing with it is by like, okay, let us have a, a, a like that, let us, higher to start with nowadays people who is not locked to a technology like no i'm i do, i know dot net i love dot net i'll never move i ask them this is the scenario i'm not telling you have to move but it might are you okay to change technology do you see what i see or we see or the market see like you know we have to change with it and if they're fine with it then we, we go ahead with, with that recruitment force uh, phase so how it is affecting me is that we have to change almost daily. So our lot of our app developer, Java developer, even .NET developer, they become some other kind of developer. But it is just when they have done it once, they see the beauty of it. They, they, they love the fact that they could actually move from being a Java developer to a React developer and they can do new cool things with the technologies mm -hmm. and and that it is feasible they're talking about it so whole i would say impro is kind of a, a agile company we we will talk about agile but we really are agile. we are changing day by day that is the i, I would say how we are coping up with that we are open to it we understand it mm -hmm. and we change with it and we work with people like who can change and are, are willing to change Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, to foresee future, we also talk about the, the you know, like machine learning. Uh, we have discussion internally. We have like a small think tank. We discuss what what is coming and how it is affecting uh, and so on. Excellent. So there is an apprehension, but there is also an excitement. Okay, we are learning a new thing. Yes, okay. correct. That's a really nice thing. In fact, now. Here, the journey doesn't end. Like technology has been changing rapidly recently since last one or two decades. But I think, how is it going to change even f further in future, maybe in the next 10 or 20 years down the line? How do you see technology is going to change and it's going to impact again? Yeah, I have a, I thought of it uh, a lot. And uh, just, just recently, I think for like maybe three months ago, I changed I, I, from my office to, from my home to the office. I, I had, a, you know, I have to travel. And uh, many times, because uh, I travel with like uh, Ulla, and sometimes I travel, travel with my own car. I, mean, I have a driver. But I, I was used to a road, right? I mean, this is the route I take. But if you look at Google Maps, uh, when you have you know direction and they're giving you like a red here is a, a, a like a junction or what you can like jam a traffic jam but i was not kind of i knew my road so i, I always went through that road regardless it was red mm -hmm. uh, but then after going one two three times so now i don't even questioning myself anymore like which road i should take i think it's google knows this better than i know so i i trust on google that's trans that's transition what happened for me being 45 years old i think it I, I'm, I'm describing my situation but for my son 
it is by default, you know, like it's by default that they, they are listening to the technology, which means like the algorithm behind it. And so we're going to be, I think that the generation uh, going to be more adaptable to the technology that we already know, but also listen to the technology. So what I mean to say, uh, like we'll trust more, uh, but the effect, like if you just think, I don't know how many millions truck drivers we might have in India, but just think that that day when you don't need a truck driver and the truck is driving itself in a better way. Uh, first trust have to come, which is happening right now. Within a few years, that trust will be built. And so many people have to will be actually according to me you know jobless because he was always driving my father was driving truck i'm driving truck but that can be there because technology is taking over or in the robotic field you know like in in industries and so on so that is something we have to be aware of and think and have i mean uh, that that we do have to actually you know re gain ourselves or to re relearn minimum i would say three times in our lifetime so it can be like i'm advocate and everything is advocate no it have to be maybe from advocate i have to be something else maybe i have to be uh, i don't know um, uh, something different that is that is what i see so it is excitement but also a little bit you know uh, kind of a little bit dangerous as well uh, but uh, uh, Human being is smart enough, I think, that, that we will find a solution to those as well. Exactly. I mean, I could remember a lot of Hollywood movies with your, this uh, final line, last line, that there is going to be a dichotomy and, and a, like, a, you know, a confusion in your brain that whom will you trust more? Your technology, what the option or ideas your technology is giving, or your own self-conscience? That your 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 you know self determination. So there'll be so one thing that is coming very clearly. So we had uh, Mr. Bobby Vishwas, who is the chief executive officer of Inpro India. Just to summarize the discussion, technology has enabled us to connect with rural mass, connect with uneducated mass, the people who were otherwise deprived. Now they have the privilege to have access to the most modern amenities that society is providing. The second thing that I got uh, from him, uh, understand that, uh, yeah, with every change, there is a, a sense of challenge, but human being always likes challenge. They see an excitement within that challenge. So I think, so a lot of people would be enjoying it, but coming on this future part, this technology is definitely going to change, but what how and how technology impacts is it, it, it brings efficiency uh, in our decision-making, in our uh, productivity, uh, in our performance. So we should see technology as a mode, uh, how it can increase efficiency, productivity and performance that we uh, do. Third thing we have, I think a new challenge which is going to come is that the adaptability of the understanding of the technology. It's very important what uh, Mr. Bishwa said, that we need to understand the technologies fast and quick. Uh, understanding the uh, you know, functioning behind the how the technology is functioning and then adapting it and then trusting it because now is a time that you cannot uh, you know have confusion with technology you have to adapt it if you don't then you will be missing out a lot of opportunities that is going to come and this what the most and ultimate thing i think the challenge which is going to come is that balancing the options and opportunities provided by technology and your own self-conscious uh, conscience or decisions. That's going to come. Mr. Vishwas, am I right? Correct. Correct. Thank you so much. You are watching the Policy Times.